I came into my program really wanting to study something related to counterterrorism and counterterrorism effectiveness. My research is very personal to me. Many of my biggest supporters today have been the men and women who were Marines or civilians. Several of them have deployed to combat zones and been killed. My research is on the northern coast of Colombia in a region called Montes de Maria. And it's been one of the territories that has been prioritized in the peace accords for implementation because of its long history um, and experience with the armed conflict. When it came time to choose my dissertation topic, I returned to the question I had time and time again, which was civilian violence. So in the dissertation and in my work, I'm trying to conceptualize this around uh, the notion of slow peace. And I found it to be very useful actually to engage with the literature and writing being done on, on other slow movements. So the slow foods movement or the slow money movement. So I'm studying how child soldiers get recruited into rebel groups or terrorist organizations. One thing I hope to accomplish really with my dissertation is to, to bring light to the causes of child soldiering. Oftentimes, many of these interventions are justified as a means to protect civilians, but my research hopes to provide ground truth on the actual impact to civilians and whether or not policymakers are putting civilians in more harm's way by undertaking different types of intervention. Without this program, I wouldn't be able to go into the countries to speak with people, to interview people who lived through these experiences. And I think this connects directly to the work of United States Institute of Peace because at the center of the work and scholarly community has been to reshift and reframe a focus onto um, peace building and peace as something that is researchable. So being in the program, it's been incredible in terms of advancing my research by giving me an opportunity to continue my dissertation research. It also gives you access to a variety of practitioners, policy influencers. It's only through this additional funding that the program offers that I'm able to do this, and it will make my research much more robust and um, meaningful.